Hi, this is Keisha Dixon, the Tapping Queen, and today we're going to tap on fear of public speaking. You know, I really love to use tapping as a modality because it is measurable. You can see results, measurable results, right away. So in order to measure it, we have to get a baseline of, are you afraid of public speaking or speaking in the public, or maybe a lot afraid, or maybe just a little bit? And maybe fear isn't the right word. Possibly anxiety. We'll call it anxiety, a little angst. <laughs> All right, so close your eyes and visualize with me that you are well-dressed, you like look absolutely fabulous, and you are standing in the middle of a room. It is a crowded room and you're on stage. You're on stage. And in the audience are people who somehow or another have a relevance or authority over your income and over your advancement. So if you have a job in, in a corporation, that room is full of your bosses, management, other colleagues. There are people who are people within your team some family members are there too because they're dependent on you to do a great job. And uh, there are also people there who are responsible for whether or not you get a raise and how much money you make and how much of a raise you're going to get. Or if you're a small business owner or an entrepreneur, this room is full of people who are absolutely in your target market. They are your ideal client. It's your perfect client. Um, and there are other people in there sprinkled within or people who are influencers, people who can really offer a great opportunity for you. All right, are you there? Oh, and did I mention the spotlight is completely on you, completely centered in on you. And yet, remarkably, you can still see out into the audience and scan every single face. You can see there their expressions. Yeah. Are you there? Great. Now pick up the microphone and say, and this is the first time they're hearing you speak in public, say, I am awesome at what I do. I'm a rock star and I totally deserve to be well paid for this. <laughs> Now open your eyes and write down on a scale of 1 to 10, how are you feeling right now? With 10 being, I want to get out of this room, ouch. <laughs> and 1 being, yeah, I could totally see myself doing that. All right. And since we're fresh off this visualization, let's just go through the tapping points. We're not even going to do a karate chop point. Just tap with me. Oh my God, this is terrifying. I've got to get out of this room. This is so scary. And I'm feeling really vulnerable right now. I just want to disappear. I can't say I'm awesome at what I do. I can't say I'm a rock star. I can't say I totally deserve to be well paid for this. I just. I can't say that out loud. I'm just medium. That's what people really want to hear. Because I can see it all. They're judging me. They're totally judging me. They're looking at me skeptically. <laughs> like somehow or another, I've lost my mind. They're shocked. They're offended that I said this. Oh yeah, they're definitely judging me. They're wondering if I'm even good enough. They're whispering, who does she think she is? Wow, I just wanna run and hide. I don't want to be this vulnerable. And I feel very vulnerable right now. This is really scary. 
I would never say something like that. It's not right. And I have a rule about that. It's not appropriate. I made a promise to myself. I promised I would never shine this brightly. I would never be seen like this. I believe I have great talents and unique abilities, but I don't want to say that out loud. I don't want to share that with people because <laughs> they'll judge me. They'll reject me. They'll be critical of my abilities. And that's just too scary. I feel this vow to stay invisible. Because I just want to disappear right now. And take a deep breath. Measure where you are on a scale of one to 10 now after doing that round of tapping. Ideally, you should have gone down um, from where you originally were. Keep doing that round of tapping until you are no more than a three, between a zero and a three. Okay, now we're going to move on to our second round of tapping in a proactive way prior to public speaking. At this time, we will start with the karate chop point, which I hold up against my sternum. Tapping along with me. Even though I'm really feeling this vow to stay invisible. I made a promise to stay invisible. And it's scary. I realize I made this promise for a reason. And I totally honor how I feel about it. And even though this whole idea is just triggering me, because I have a lot of beliefs around this. I learned them from my family. I'm just gonna honor that I'm unique. I'm gonna honor that I'm one of a kind and I'm really good at what I do. So even though this feels really scary and vulnerable, I do love bringing my gifts to the world put my heart and my soul into what I do and I really love sharing that and I'm just going to honor that too I'm tapping through the points I actually love the way I am my training my intelligence my unique gifts that special quality I bring to my work the world really does need it. And I've spent a lot of time downplaying it, hiding it, being invisible, trying to be someone else. And I'm just going to honor that too. And I totally honor how special I am and how much I love to talk about my work. I pour my heart and soul into it. And I would really love to share that with more people. So many more people. And you know what? I totally deserve to receive. To receive based on my giving. To receive based on my amazing value. I choose to stand here and shine with my unique brilliance. With my heart open for all to see. Totally honor. I am a miracle. I am a rock star. And you know what? As I shine, I give everyone else permission to shine too. To shine fully with their light. because I choose to shine fully with my light. 
And as I shine my brilliance, the whole universe responds. And from my actions, I'll receive the exact value back in money and in wealth in praise and support, in everything I desire. I start to let go of this promise I made to myself to be invisible for my highest good. And take a deep breath. And now measure where you are on a scale of one to 10, which should be considerably down from where we first started from. I'm Keisha Dixon, the Tapping Queen, and I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's been my pleasure to share with you how to tap to avoid the fear of public speaking.